Hello, everyone. It's Maddie. I'm going to be doing a warm up with you all today. I hope you're ready to get moving. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. Um, today, we're just going to be using some free weights. If you don't have free weights, you could use cans, milk jugs, something with some weight to it. And yeah, we'll just get started. We're just going to do some side steps. We're going to throw in some arm swings here. Open up that chest. Get our legs and our feet moving. Hope you guys are ready for a good warm up today. All right, you have about five more seconds of these, and then we'll move into some balance work. Three, two, and one. All right, our first balance challenge is going to be some leg swings. So we're just gonna swing our legs out front. If you need to tap your toe at any time, that's totally fine. If you would like to use a wall to stabilize yourself, that works too. Just trying to stay steady and balanced while we're swinging this leg. Awesome job, everyone. Let's switch sides in three, two, one. All right, let's take that other leg. We're just gonna swing that out in front of us, doing whatever we need to do to balance. You can have your hands on your hips, out to your sides. You can choose something to stare at, so you're nice and focused. All right, we'll go for another three seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, awesome job. So. Our first exercise that we're gonna use our weights, we're gonna be doing some alternating bicep curls and hammer curls. So we're just gonna do a hammer curl and then a bicep curl. So if you wanna decrease the intensity here, you can do one at a time. So that looks like this, hammer curl, hammer curl, bicep curl, bicep curl. Either way, awesome job. You can alternate at your own pace. Just warming up those biceps. Awesome job. Let's go for five more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we can drop our weights down. We're gonna be doing an adductor stretch. So for this, we wanna get in a little bit of a squat stance. We're just gonna to lean to one side. We're trying not to cross our, our toes with those knees. We're just leaning to one side. You'll feel this stretch in your adductor right here in the straight leg. Awesome job. Let's switch to that other side. Again, feeling that stretch in your adductor and your straight leg. Looking good. All right, we'll switch back over to that first leg. Just making sure we get a really good stretch here. Nice job. And again, to the other side. We're just gonna hold this for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, picking up our free weights again. We're gonna be working on some upper back strength with some T raises. So for these, we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna have a slight bend in the knee. And with our palms facing outward, we're gonna lift our weights up till our body makes a T. To decrease the intensity here, you can go 50%, just halfway to that T. Nice work, everyone. Keep it up. Five more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna stretch out our triceps a little bit. So we're just gonna take our opposite elbow and pull that towards our other arm. Just holding that reaching for our shoulder blades right here. 
get some nice deep breaths. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch to our other arm. Again, we're just pulling that elbow towards the other side of our body, reaching our hand down here to our shoulder blades. Nice work, keep it up. Hope you're feeling that good stretch in your tricep. Three, two, and one, all right. So our next exercise, we're gonna incorporate one of our free weights. So here, we're gonna be holding our weight in the middle. And we're just gonna be doing some air squats like this. We don't want our knees crossing our toes. We want to push our hips through at the top. To increase the intensity here, we're going to add a tricep extension. Awesome job. Keep it up. You got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great work. So we're going to put that weight back down. We're going to be doing a bicep stretch. So we're just pulling our arm out, pulling those fingers back, feeling that stretch in our bicep. You can do some glute kicks here. Keep those feet moving. Nice job. Three, two, one, switch hands. Nice work. So we're gonna be moving directly into another stretch here. In five, four, three, two, one. We're just gonna pull one arm over across our body and hold it there with the other arm. Just gonna stretch out those shoulders. You can do some side steps here. Keep those legs moving. Keep it up, everyone. Take some deep breaths. We'll switch arms here in three, two, one, and switch. Nice work. Continuing with those side steps, taking that deep breath, feeling that stretch in our shoulder. All right, three, two, one. So our next exercise, we're gonna need our free weights again. We're gonna be doing some deadlifts. So for deadlifts, we're gonna want our feet shoulder width apart and we're just gonna bend down to the ground and back up, pushing those hips through. So to increase the intensity here, we're gonna add a calf raise at the end. So deadlift, calf raise, back down. We wanna make sure our knees are not crossing our toes with these. And then at the top of each deadlift, make sure you're bringing your shoulders back, squeezing those shoulder blades and doing that calf raise. Awesome job. If you wanna decrease the intensity, you could go to 50% on the deadlifts, or you could also completely exclude the calf raise. Let's get three more. Two. And one. Awesome job. So next we are going to be doing another balance challenge. So for this, we're gonna be doing a quad stretch. We're just trying to remain on that one foot steadily. Wanna keep our quads together as good as we can. Choose something to focus on. We're just trying to remain steady here and get a, get a good stretch in our quad. For a decrease in intensity here, you can also lay on your side and do this stretch, but I think it's a great 
Way to challenge your balance skills. All right. Let's switch sides in five, four, three, two, and one. Switching sides. Just pulling that other foot back to our glutes, keeping our quads as close together as we can, and choosing something to focus on or whatever works for you. Let's keep it up, everyone. You got this. Try to stay as steady as you can. All right, hold it, guys. You got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna be moving into some raises. So we're gonna be alternating frontal and lateral raises. So to decrease the intensity here, you can go halfway on the front and side raises. Or you can go all the way up to your shoulder, kind of like the T raises. We're halfway. All right, you got it, guys. Five more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. All right, so now we're going to be moving into a hip flexor stretch and trans, and what was I gonna say? Moving to the ground. So with one knee on the ground, you're gonna have your other leg out in front. You're just going to push your weight forward and back up so you can see me better. Just pushing our weight onto our front leg, making sure our knee does not cross our toes. Just feeling that stretch in our hip flexors. Get a good deep breath in here. Awesome job, everyone. All right, we got five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Let's switch legs. So same thing here, bent leg. We're going to push our weight onto it, making sure our knee does not cross our toes. Remember, we're not stretching to feel any pain, just till we feel that nice stretch. Awesome job, everyone. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So now transitioning to four, we're going to do a plank. So for our plank, we just want to be on our forearms and on our feet. And if you would like to make this plank more challenging, you can go up on your arms and back down. So let's start our plank. Get those hips off the ground. To decrease intensity here, you can go on your knees. And then increase intensity, we can do this motion here. Awesome job, everyone. Stabilize that core, tighten that core. Five more seconds, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. So we're going to remain on our stomachs and we're going to go into a push up. So for our push ups, we can choose to be on our feet or on our knees. So on our knees, it's going to be a lower intensity. And then on our feet, higher intensity. Awesome job, everyone. Keep it up. Working our chest muscles here. Get some breaths in. You got this, guys. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so we're going to remain on our stomach for our next stretch, which is the cobra stretch. So you can choose to do this on your forearms or on your hands. So going up on your hands, you're gonna keep your chin up. And then if this is uncomfortable for you at all, we can do this 
on our forearms as well. Just making sure that head's nice and high and we're stretching those ab muscles. Looking great, everyone. Keep it up. We got five more seconds here, getting a good stretch for those ab muscles. Three, two, and one. Great job. So now we're gonna move into a child's pose. So we wanna be sitting down back on our feet. We're just gonna bring our arms forward like we're doing a dive. And our hands out front and our head between our arms. Get some deep breaths here. Relax a little bit. Feel that stretch in your back. Awesome job, everyone. Keep it up. We'll go for about five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna be sitting back and we're gonna be doing a glute stretch. So for the glute stretch, we wanna have one leg straight and one in our bent leg over our straight leg. And then we wanna press our arm against the bent leg and turn our upper body. Awesome job, everyone. Keep it up, we are getting close to the finish line. Nice work. Nice job, everyone. Now I'm gonna switch over. So you can see how this looks from this side. We're just doing the same thing here. Pushing our upper body opposite way. Awesome job. All right, so we're gonna move on to some core. So for our core exercises, we're gonna start with penguins. So we're just gonna have our feet bent, or our feet flat and our legs bent. And we're gonna work our obliques with some penguins. So here, you just wanna touch your toes, or I mean, touch your feet. Not necessarily your toes, but touch those heels. We can make this a lower intensity by bringing those feet in closer. So we do not have to go as far. We can increase intensity by putting our feet out a little more. So we have to stretch down more to reach our feet. Keep it up everyone. Go for 10 more seconds. You got this. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, staying on our back. We're gonna do some hip bridges. So for these, we're just gonna push our hips up and through. Squeezing our glutes at the top. We can increase intensity here by lifting up a leg and doing them with only one leg. And to decrease intensity, we can go 50%, so just halfway up instead of 100% of the way up. Awesome job, everyone. Keep this up. We're gonna do about five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now since we gave our core a little break, let's get back to another core exercise. We're gonna be doing a basic crunch. So for this, we're just gonna have our hands behind our head, lifting our chin over our chest, lifting up those shoulders. Awesome job. Keep it up. Get some breaths in. Engage that core. You guys got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
All right, now we're going to give our, our core another little break. We're going to do a hamstring stretch. So we're just going to pull one leg to our chest and hug that leg. Give it a nice little hug. And then we can also incorporate a calf stretch here by pulling our toes back. You can either grab your toe and pull it back or just pull it back naturally. Either way works. You can also roll those ankles. Awesome job. We'll hold this for another five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we'll grab that other leg, pull it in nice and tight. And we're also going to pull those toes back, get that calf stretch in. And then we can also roll that ankle if we need to. Both ways. All right, let's hold that for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're going to be doing some cross crunches. So for our cross crunches, it's just like the basic crunch, but instead, now we're going to be bringing that opposite elbow over and crossing our body. We still want to go all the way down at the end of each crunch. And then try to cross as far as you can when you come up. Great job, everyone. Keep it up. You got this. Only 10 more seconds here. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, it's time to sit back up. We're going to stand up now and do our final few stretches and exercises. So for this first one, we're going to be doing an upper back and oblique stretch. So for upper back, let me just scoot back so you can see my full body. So we're just going to take our arms and push our hands up to the sky as high as we can. Bringing those shoulders up to our ears. Nice job. All right, now we're going to change to an oblique stretch by bringing those arms down to our side. Just feeling that stretch right here along the obliques. All right, let's change to the other side. Same thing here, we're going to feel this along this side. Looking great, keep it up. All right, now we're going to go back to our first stretch. Just finish this out real nice. Turn our backs a little bit. Awesome job. So we're going to finish this warm out with some jumping jacks just to get our heart rate going. So we're feeling nice and good to do a workout, go to the store, whatever you have planned next. So let's get it started. Awesome job. You can decrease the intensity here by doing some side jacks. You guys got this. Keep it up. Let's go for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, finish strong, one. Awesome job, everyone. Well, I hope you had fun with me today, and hope you got a good warm-up, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.